Oh yes, we have got a treat for you. Not only do we have one balloon bag, not even two, we've got loads of them. Um, let, me, let me jog. Okay, here they are. Billing and bags, loads of them. Not all of them, but just some of them because we are not loaded, we're not rich. But this is what we could afford with uh, the, the sponsored money that we get from our YouTube channel. Ah, a neat way to segue into this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Honestly, if you want to set up a website or online store, Squarespace should be your first port of call. Links in the description down below. But the idea is that we have got a variety of different styles to give you an idea of what kind of bag you need for what occasion. It's fine to have more than one bag. It's fine. It's, you don't have a problem. We have those problems too. But also there's two new bags on this table, but they've got four new bags. It's the 5 Series Mark II. They've got the 5 Series already, but this is the Mark II. So we're going to show you what's new with the two. And we've got the 555, the triple five, and the 455. And then there's a 335 and 225 Mark II. What is new? Well, um, not, my, not my phone, obviously. I don't have any notes here. I'm just remembering it. Because you have your, your trolley, or basically your suitcase, that's got those little extendable handle things, yeah. so you can wheel it, and you put this around it, so you don't have to carry it. Because they're quite weighty, I would say. I think this is probably closer to 2 kg. They don't look too different in terms of size, but there is a difference. They've got these kind of straps. They're kind of tucked away underneath the hand strap here. So you've got hand strap, shoulder strap, but of course, you, know, you can put it, pull it back like that and you can access your stuff without undoing the hand strap. There's some Billingham's where you have to take off the hand strap but let's undo it anyway, just to show you what's inside the bag, how big it is. So it's slightly smaller than that, but I think all of the five series have got two compartments. So you've got the main compartment here, which a bit of a rush, so I've just literally just chucked everything in. Um, oh, look at the, oh, oh, it's the A93. Just some random camera, just also, chuck it in. Yeah, just uh, also seen in car boot camera. I don't know, I'm pointing over here. Emergency exit over here. So this is the main compartment. Look how cavernous that is. You can put your head in it. And then some. Um, if you're uh, assassin. You can tuck these flappy bits behind the other flappy bits. Like that. So they kind of get out of the way. Gonna not have a nice background here. I think when we first got these, we were like, what does this, what's this do? Door stop. <laughs> it's like when, um, when you're at the autism. Yeah, <laughs> arrest your chin on here. Okay. I'm going to blow, blow some air in your, your eyes. Yeah, so this is for when you have a, a, a battery grip and you just want to rest the camera. Not really for this. No. It's when you have a battery grip or yeah. um, set line. Oh, that's made in England. So even know. this bit. <laughs> yeah, just even this bit. <laughs> Billingham bags are made in England, uh, yeah. which is quite an amazing thing because not many things are made in England these days. Here we go. What's that? <laughs> I don't know. An interlude. So you can move this. All of it. All of it comes out. Let's just put that there. I'm a bit OCD, so I don't like putting stuff onto. I don't like my bags being touched on the floor. I'm pretty much Japanese at heart. If you've ever been to a Japanese restaurant in Japan and they have these little bags for you to put your bag in so they don't touch the floor. Or those auntie hooks where you hook the bag <laughs> under the table. I need those. Even the inserts, I'm not putting on the table because I saw on Google Maps people put their dogs here. So I'm, I'm just resting it on these yeah. cameras. Yeah, when you, when you mentioned, I just realized you just you <laughs> kind of like lean it. <laughs> <laughs> when I put the gear here, that's fine because they don't soak up. Um, yeah. I can just use some al alcohol wipes to. Oh no, my straps are touching. Un un unreleased lens. I have to blur these out with mosaic, so this will look. When I first got this bag, I thought, okay, the laptop goes there. Oh, uh, <laughs> stitching. Oh, where do I put my laptop? Yeah. Well, 
Uh, you have to imagine a laptop in there. I didn't bring mine because I knew Locke would bring his. <laughs> it's kind of quite, it opens quite wide. It's not like just thin enough to, to put a laptop. It packed quite a lot of stuff because it's got two internal compartments here. These got padding as well. Yeah, a little, slight a bit of padding. Bit, yeah. But I feel like for these bags, these aren't sort of like you walk around taking street photography and you carry this kind of bag on the street. It's too big. This is for traveling or I think if you tra if you go to location like landscapey and you you take all your kit and then you just plonk it down. Yeah. Because it's got your brass brass. Ooh, that looks feet nice. There. That is great for O C D people like me. <laughs> um, the fabric doesn't touch. It's got two more f straps here. Place for pen. Yes, so that is the difference. Oh no, hang on, I've got it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're lucky enough to own two pens, you can put that and possibly even some more if they're very thin pens. Well, I've got a pen and the torch. Oh, okay. Well, let's have a look in, let's have a quick look in Locke's bag. I mean, they're pretty, pretty similar. I don't think we really need to show it again, but on the back, oh, crikey. <laughs> Crikey, oh, I really you weren't it. joking. I want to show how much it takes. Okay, well, I should have opened your bag <laughs> instead of like, oh, I've got a couple of cameras and uh, <laughs> one one battery. Go on then. I will. We've got these little loopholes here. Yeah, some loopholes. It's not a loophole you have to take advantage of. You can put your, your tripod here or you can add accessories and stuff, isn't it? I think so. you, you have um, extra tripod strap that you can purchase. Yes. It's much it's basically, basically, basically just link. a piece of um, leather. So the piece two loop leather. here and <laughs> you can put yeah, your tripod. Just a bit of or, material. Or oh. oh heck, actually you forgot to mention this. Oh yeah. Well, I'll do now. So usually hand strap like that. But when you've got it open, or maybe if you don't want to use the hand strap because it's gonna be flopping about all over the place, isn't it? And for O C D people like myself, we'd be like, oh no, <laughs> this can get all germs and stuff. You can put it here. I imagine it's like you, you're already shooting on location, everything open. Suddenly you just want to move it a little bit. Then you don't have to like, oh, close the strap. And uh, you, you yeah, just that too. do that. That too. Not even that, you can just do that. Yeah. And then, and then everything will fall out. But um, yeah, you, you can do that. Just do that. Yeah. Versatility. But your zippers are, I wonder if they're different material? These are, these are brass, aren't they? Should be, yeah. Woof! Look at that! Woof! <laughs> Locke has Lock brought his house here. Laptop is just lost in it. Even this, <laughs> this, this is 12 inch. This fits 16 inch, it feels like it would take more than that. Yeah, I feel it. I think they're usually quite conservative, conservative yeah. with uh, what's the size you can put in. Yeah, Look, you, you can, can put two. You can put two of these. Yeah, 24 inch. <laughs> yeah. So Locke, Locke's not bothered this, he's just... Well, I don't have a set nine. I'm not, I'm not, uh, it wasn't anything bad. Panasonic with 7200. More lens. Yeah, another lens and um, road case. Lighting. Lighting. And one more lens underneath. Ew! Two more. <laughs> two more pouches. This should be video, what's in Locke's bag. This is what's in Locke's bag. Oh, wow. Well, this is more than usual. Yeah. Like if I'm... Is sunglasses? Oh no. No, headphone. <laughs> That's a huge sunglasses. I've seen some cases like that. I've... Posh man, Bose and Wilkins headphones. So it's like if you take this as your um, cabin carry-on carry on luggage. Yeah. I need my headphone. I, I checked, this is good for carry-on luggage. I'm not sure about uh, Ryanair or whatever, but a normal airline. Yeah. Log, Log doesn't fly Ryanair, does he? He doesn't do Ryanair. I don't want to. He's not. He's a rich Try man. Try not to. No wonder, no wonder Log was complaining when we're walking. It's like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? So, um, I mean, back to back. The 555 is wider. Just more. More of everything. Not as many colour configurations as, say, the Hadleys. This is Sage Fibre Night chocolate leather. Uh, Log has got the black fiber night black leather then you've got navy canvas chocolate leather that's for the 335 only that is like this basically 
And then you've got khaki canvas and tan leather, which is sort of the classic Billingham classic, look. Yeah. I don't know, what's your preference in terms of fabric? I actually prefer canvas. Yes. Some people say that fiber night is a bit lighter. Officially, they say it's lighter as well, isn't it? Because I asked about it. Some people say, oh, it's 10% lighter. The, the fiber night does weigh less than canvas, but probably less than 10%. I think I quite like the, the idea of something which is uh, organic material versus artificial. They do make a really good job of um, making it feels like canvas. Yeah. If you don't put two side by side and actually try to touch it, you can't yeah. tell the difference. And it, they look exactly the same. The canvas, just slightly softer on the, on the touch. Yeah. Just really slightly. I would say Fiber Night might be a bit more durable over the years, yeah. just based on, you know, canvas. And that's the 5 Series Mark II. On to the other Billinghams, but first this sponsored message. With Squarespace, setting up a website or online store couldn't be any simpler. Get going with one of their neat looking templates, whether it be for a blog, portfolio or store. Then you can tweak and shift about to your liking and there's 24-7 customer service just in case something goes wrong. Get 10% off your first order with the code KAI and 14 day free trial. Click the link in the description down below. I had a Hadley large before. No, no, not large. Is there a bigger one than large? Hadley. There's too many Hadleys. Look, I mean, there's a Hadley. <laughs> let's, let's show you some of the Hadleys first. The OG. Well, we don't have the OG we don't one. Have, yeah. You, you had the OG before. I've got, yeah, I had OG before, and I've got another one which is uh, sort of OG ish. But um, it's customized. It's, uh, it's all camo. Ooh. They don't usually do all camo. It's, it's like half camo, half OD, oh, olive drab. Special. Special. VIP. Special, especially for me. Um, this is as close as you can get, isn't it, to the original. The original doesn't have this hand strap, but this is... And that's the difference. That's, that's all. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The original is like that. So this is the Hadley Pro. I think for recent years, this would be the most popular one. I guess, because yeah. it's just the right size. I think it's like the classic. Thing. It's the classic flavor. The vanilla. The vanilla flavor, but that doesn't mean it's boring. But you can add extra flavors. This is the one. Hadley one. Um, so we've got the luggage strap on that. I think this is the first bag that have that luggage handle strap thing. And you fit this in here, did you? No, no, hang No, on. I fit the small in here. <laughs> yeah, lock, lock. It, it probably fits, I had never tried. Lock did uh, his Russian dolls thing with his bags. Yeah, when you have to walk <laughs> five minutes from the your car. car. With all these bags, all um, these, all these bags. Yeah, I mean, it just about carries. All I have stuff. this is this for how long? Um, seven, eight. I can't remember. It's a long time, and it shows. You uh, used it, this in Dishrev, didn't you? Yeah, it was black. <laughs> it's not this um, dark green color. It was black, like like, like that. Yeah. So this is the canvas. They do two finishes, two different materials. They've got the canvas and the fiber night. Fiber night doesn't really fade like this and it won't show as much wear and tear easily. Fiber night is more kind of was well, synthetic material. Canvas is um, it's made of cotton, isn't it? It'll be like your jeans. They, they kind of wear over time and they just get better as you, as you stories. It. Yeah, stories to tell. They don't have a mouth, but they've got stories to tell and this was black before, wasn't it? <laughs> and uh, this bit, the one though. Yeah, I mean, you can see it's a three layer bag. They've yep. got a rubber membrane in between. That's the time when they make it waterproof. They've got a rubber membrane in between the top layer of canvas and then the in this one. Layer. Yeah. So last time I test, it was in Hong Kong. I put it under the ring for half an hour. Uh, the, the whole bag, only this bit got a little bit wet inside. How was it? Yeah. Actually, I should remember back in Hong Kong when you had this and when it rained and they were like, you could see some of the dye running yeah, yeah, off. Yeah. When it was new. Yeah. So it was black before and it's turned this kind of, I don't know, it's green, olive. greenish. Olive. I don't, I don't know really if I'd call it. Black olive. olive. But it's, it's cool. It's really cool. And that's one thing I like about the canvas bags from Billingham is that it's the thought of having something that wears over time and it's it's got your stories to tell. It's like, oh, oh I fell over or oh, I've been rubbing it vigorously. You know, it's got the 
do they call it a document pocket? But um, yeah, you know, it's got the two front pockets with the poppers. I feel a bit odd saying poppers. It sounds like something you get at um, an adult toy store for men who like other men. So that's so you can fit an iPad in this. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Not a laptop. Laptop. Yeah, you can. Twelve I inch. Can, I can fit fit the twelve inch in there as well. Okay. So this is just a nice size for a, a camera bag that you can pretty much use you know, for anything. Going out in the field or taking it uh, hand luggage. It's just just enough. Or you'd go for slightly bigger. Slightly bigger. Which is the one. I think it's a bit uh, wider. Uh, uh, it's just wider. Though. It's wider. It's thicker. You can take the shoulder strap off this. Mm. Yeah, new feature back then. Yeah, so you can just use it. You can just, you know, hold it. But um, dedicated laptop sleeve. Yeah. Before that wasn't really a laptop space. It's just a space where you can fit your laptop. This is actually designed to protect your laptop a bit better. But you don't have the complete insert here, do you? Uh, not here. They give you this uh, for um, in a standard. Well, you can customize it. Yeah, you can take this out and then it's got the biggest space. But then it's still got um, padding, even like the side. Oh, still yeah. Still got padding. Because one thing is with the Hadley original and the Pro, yeah. if you take out the insert, then there's no padding at all. Well, it'll be like the weekend, it'll be like, like <laughs> yeah. that. This is a bit squished. I wouldn't say it's a camera bag. It's more of a, well, it's a weekender. So this is just a bag to take for weekend staycation, it vacation. Looks, it looks smaller whatever. when it is like this. <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually really it big. looks. It looks like when you take a jellyfish out of water <laughs> and it's just like, <laughs> end of the weekend. Uh, um, but it looks, it looks better in pictures and also when it's filled up. So you kind of have to fill it for it to uh, keep its shape. But this this keeps its shape even with it without the insert. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the, that's the Hadley, Hadley One, Hadley Pro. Then we've got the small, which is so cute. Look at that. And they even fit a. Oh, this is a Hadley Small Pro. Would that even fit on there? Yeah. It, oh, it does. Yeah. Okay. I feel a bit silly to fit does, such yeah. a small bag on your luggage. You know, it's never really going to get that heavy that you think, oh, yeah. I need to put it on a suitcase because <laughs> it, it's just too heavy to carry and I need to put it on some wheels. So this is mine and I only use it for leisure. I don't even use it oh, really? for, for camera. So you don't have an insert in it usually? I, yeah, I, I don't put it in there. I have an insert at home. Oh. I never use the insert. But interestingly, you know, you can take the strap, the shoulder strap off this. Yeah. So you can really have it as a, um, you know, fashion, fashion bag. But this doesn't carry much in terms of cameras, does it? It's probably like one, one mirrorless camera and a lens, extra yeah. lens. Saying that, there's a digital, which so it's, really it's, doesn't... Is it Hadley Digital or...? Hadley Digital. Hadley Digital. So this doesn't exist. This is this has been converted to analog. You just get a... What? <laughs> it's digital. You buy a Hadley Digital and, and they just give you an NFT. <laughs> <laughs> so here you go, that's what you asked for, Hadley Digital. But that, I kind of wanted something a bit smaller than that, something which is just, okay, I just carry the camera or even just Leica and an extra lens. So I, I thought about either the 75 or, or this. 75 is really just, it's kind of like a square opening, isn't it? This is a little bit wider, this is more rectangular. So in theory, you can put a camera, quite a kind of slim camera there, and then an extra lens there, and you've got a front pocket. Those are the, those are the Hadleys, anyway. We've also got a Venter, that's the Mini Venter, and then the, the big boy over there. These are a bit more posh, I would say. They are more expensive. Yeah, they? these are more expensive, but I mean, they use quite a bit more lever on the back, at mm. the bottom. But really, in terms of use, they're kind of quite similar. I mean, this is, the mini one is a bit smaller than the Hadley Pro. It's just that it's got a zip fastening here. I think actually this is, um, the Hadley Pro would be more practical because the, the flap actually cover the side from the ring. Yeah, Not true. Not this, you, you true. have to zip it. 
Yeah. You have to remember to zip it to prevent rain going yeah. in. Because the zips... And then the zip get in the way of getting your gear out as well. Yeah, I mean, it's not... I mean, if you think, think about you're shooting on the go, you want something that you can have quick access to your gear. This one you have to undo these straps and then unzip. Of course, you can have it like that. Mm. But then when you just get that, it's cheaper. <laughs> yeah. It just looks nicer. It looks nice. I think yeah. it looks kind of posh. And I was, I was yeah. just saying to Locke before, I think it's almost a bit too posh because I usually just dress like a, a tramp. Uh, but it's probably more suited to Locke. The zips on the Hadleys don't have these kind of... And I just realized this, even, even only the bigger one got uh, this bit. So it don't do that. Oh yeah. Oh, the, oh, no, the mini has yeah. had it as well. So oh, no, this if, is just an event thing. Yeah, it's an event thing because these always like oh, oh. Sometimes yeah. do that. They end up curling up, I think. <laughs> yeah. But really, it's as I said, it's just a style thing. But these bags, they just carry more things. Even if you go for the smallest one, the two two five, it just carries more than the Hadleys. They're they're kind of a bit thicker. That is it. What else do you want to know? Leave some comments down below in Locke's video. Yeah. <laughs> now, click to no. click to my video. Now. Yeah. On there, on there, there. So thanks for watching. Um, we've got some other stuff here, which is embargoed, but we'll link it later. Up there, or over there, over there, somewhere. Okay, whatever.